Troy, man. Hello. Thank you for uh, taking time out of your day to chat with me today. Of course. We've got this beautiful uh, Toronto skyline behind us. I like too shabby. skylines. I like birds. I like water. I like food. We have all of the above minus the food. All right. I know you've already done a lot of press about this new album, specifically the lyrical content. It's one thing to write about those things, to get that out as a creative outlet. It's another to be so transparent with the public and say, hey, this song is actually about this. Do you find it difficult to open up your personal life like that to a bunch of people you don't know? At first, I was um, on the fence about it because I'm a very private person. I don't share anything outside of a phone call. I'm not, I don't share my life on any social media. But once we spent a few months writing this record and it was very obvious what it was, what it was gonna be about, sickness and death and cancer and all this horrendous uh, personal stuff, it's very relatable. So let's share this because we're trying to channel this grief and this anger and this frustration and all these emotions, every emotion under the sun, we're channeling it through this art that we call Mastodon. You know, we're not afraid to, to, to share and, and be transparent and, and put our emotions on our sleeve because we feel it's very, ultimately very positive. Um, we're taking darkness and we're trying to channel it into something light. It takes a lot of balls, I commend you for that. It takes a couple balls. B between the four of us, we have a few balls. A few. A few balls left. I was reading an interview with Bran about the recording of this record and he said that one of the main things you wanted to work on was improving the vocals from past releases. Yeah. You guys like athletes, like in the way you analyze past performances and try and improve upon them? We've realized over each and every record that our weakest point is, our, is the vocals. With Emperor of Sam we spent more time than ever before, not only diving into the best lyrical subject matter but the the best uh, melodies we could find and the best voice for the part because there's three of us because we wanted this to not only be a strong Mastodon record but we wanted it to be the strongest vocal record that we've ever done. So. Was, was that the ultimate goal that you set for the vocals on this record? I mean that was where we spent more more attention than ever before so we're very selfless um, where it doesn't matter who writes the lyrics we want the voice to fit the part uh, better for the greater good of the song and we spent more time in pre-production than we ever have before as far as t taking stabs at different vocal approaches, trying my voice on a part, trying Braun's voice on a part. That's the ultimate goal is, is finding what's you know the greater good of the song. I've read in an interview that you said that you attributed a lot of the aggression in the early vocals straight up to the state of mind that you were in as a band in those early days. I'm personally not as angry as I was 15 years ago. I'm much more happy in my personal life. And I can say the same for my bandmates. You know, every song is different, every record is going to be different. And obviously over eight records, we've had this journey, we've had this evolution. And we never want to write the same record twice. And we don't want to create an entirely aggressive album that we're just going to scream over um, at this point in our band's life. So. Interesting. People argue about clean singing versus dirty singing and the heaviness you know, if something's heavier because it has screaming over it versus more of an operatic style of heavy metal singing. I mean, what's your, what's your take on that? If you, if you attempt writing music to please a certain genre of fans or a certain, or your core fans or to try to gain new fans, our band would be shooting ourselves in the foot like that because people would see through our lack of sincerity where we've created our music from, in, from the get-go. I understand if people who are embraced remission don't care for us now, that's fine. A lot of people have loved us our whole career. Some people are just finding out who we are now. Any success that we've gotten, uh, we're very appreciative of that. But we've never tried to please anyone outside of each other. It's the beauty of it all, the creative freedom. Yeah, we never signed a contract to be a pop rock band all the time. We never signed a contract to be a brutal, you know, grind metal band or anything of that nature. We can play whatever the fuck we want. And that's why I joined a band in the first place.